Hi folks, and I wanted to give you a brief tour about Google, for, uh, Google Classroom because many of you are not utilizing the many thing, tool, valuable tools that are available in the Google Classroom. And we're going to start right with the opening page. One tool that many of you do not utilize is the fact that you can move, I can move and arrange my classroom. So what I would recommend doing some, uh, this is just an idea, moving it so that my, maybe my A day classes go at the top. Maybe my B day classes go at the top. Maybe I put them in order, first period, second period, such and such. Whatever would work best for you, but you can arrange that order. That's one valuable tool, being able to arrange that order. The second valuable tool is the to-do list. The to-do list will list uh, work that's been assigned, and it will show you even like this one, this assignment that was in Ms. Chudabo's class is due tonight at midnight. But the bigger key here is the missing work. It will show you work currently missing from this week. It will show you earlier work that is missing, It'll show work from last week, plus it'll show this week. This is such a valuable tool to use, folks. And the reason that it's so valuable is while a due date comes, let's take Ms. Chudabo's assignment, that probably is not going to be put into SIS until a week later. So therefore, this is going to be a more up-to-date reflection. One of the things that I would recommend with this is, and I'm going to show you, whenever you have an assignment that's just used as an announcement, always hit turn in. So let's go. Another feature going back to classes is the calendar feature. And when you open this up, it is going to give you a week view. This where this may be where I would go to the calendar on um, Mondays. So if I'm opening next Monday, I can see what's coming up, but I can also click back and see what was available last week. There's other places to go on the calendar, and I'm going to show you those also. But when I click the assignment, it takes me to those assignments. So let's look at a class and see. I'm going to go to a class that I'm enrolled in so that you get the student view. Once you're in the student view, the classwork page has some really, really important buttons that you should be using. View your work, where the to-do gives you a list in the uh, start of the class, the, um, the view your work gives you the list for the class and it will be a year long list. What's really nice, again, I can go there. I see I'm missing two assignments. I can see what, what work got returned to me and my grade. And then of course, all assigned. Really using the missing, again, will be very, very helpful for keeping up with your work. Another advantage here is your Google Calendar coming from your Google Class work page is going, you're going to be able to manipulate it a little bit better. You have three views in the Google Calendar. You have the day view, so everything that's due. You have the week view, which was the view that you had at the beginning of class. I tend to like the month view because then I can see, okay, next week I have an assignment on the 28th. I have an assignment on the 29th. All right, I see that Kathleen had parents weekend, but what's really nice is when I click that, it takes me to the assignment. If I click the link, it will take me right to the assignment. What's also nice with this is you're able to add things to this calendar. This isn't just your, it's not just related to your Google Classroom. So for example, let's say I had a, teacher who only used Blackboard. What I may do is open up my private Google Calendar. I can then go and I can create my, I don't know, 
yearbook. And I can schedule, I can schedule that and I can say, okay, that assignment she said was due September 30th at 3 p.m. And then what I can do location, I can put um, first period, if that's what class I have, yearbook. And then here I can type the description and then I hit save and there it is. I'm going to undo that now. So I do have that um, ability to do that. That is so important. Adding your private information, your private things on here will also help you be organized because you can see, you can see Mrs. Keating's using this not only as a work calendar, but I also have some things like I know this week it was supposed to be parents weekend. So with looking at that, I know that I wouldn't have as much time to grade. So that is uh, a tool that many students use do not use that they should be using. It really, really helps. Class Drive folder, I would just leave alone, but that is the big things in Google Classroom. Especially when your teacher has a due date on it, that will help you. The view your work, if you have a teacher who doesn't put due dates down, you can at least see when they were assigned and you can work on that. Um, like I said, the missing button is going to be probably more important than SIS.